What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to build a simple password generator in python so let us get right into it so creating a password generator in python is a very simple thing the only thing we need to do is we need to import a random and then we're going to create a bunch of strings containing all possible characters that we can use for the password so let's say we have for example upper case letters here this is one thing and we're just going to make a string here with a b c d e f g uh h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z there you go then we're going to say lowercase letters and we don't need to write uh everything again we can just say uppercase letters dot lower uh using the string function here uh then we can also say numbers or actually digits and we can say this is a string of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, that's it. And last but not least, we can add all kinds of symbols. So we're going to say symbols equals, and you can include whatever you want here. You can say, for example, I'm going to include, uh, include parentheses, square brackets, curly brackets, uh, commas, semicolons, colons, dots, uh, everything you want, actually, underlines, slash, uh, with backslash, you need to be a little bit careful because if you do just backslash, it's not going to count this as backslash. You need to do backslash, uh, backslash, backslash if you actually want to do uh, backslash. And uh, then we're going to say question mark and plus and uh, star and hashtag and I don't know what, whatever you want. So we're going to include all those here. We can also include a white space. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make booleans for selecting uh, which things we want to include in the password that we're generating. So we're going to say upper, lower digits, uh, actually digits is already used. So let's say nums for numbers uh, and then sim, sims for symbols. Okay, and then we're going to set all of those to true in the beginning. We can later on set them to false if we want. Uh, or we can also set them to true or false uh, based on the user input. If you want to do that, I'm just going to do it directly in the script. And then we're going to, uh, to create a, um, a string for the final password. So we're going to say password equals and an empty string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, or actually, we're not going to do the password yet, we're going to create first of all, a string containing all the things that we're going to use. So we're going to say, if upper, if it's true, we're going to say, creating a empty string up here, we're going to say all plus equals uppercase letters, which means that if we chose to use uppercase letters, we're going to include them into the final string. So then we're going to say if lower, same thing, all plus equals lowercase letters. Then we're going to say if digits, uh, or actually we said nums, if nums all plus equals digits. And then last but not least, if sims, all plus equal symbols. So that's it. We then have a final string, depending on which uh, of those indicators here are true or false. We have a full string with all the things that we want to use. And then last but not least, what we're going to do is we're going to set the length to whatever we want it. So let's say 20 and we're going to set the amount of passwords that we want to generate. So let's say we want to generate 10 passwords for now. And now we can get into the actual generation. We've now chosen uh, what kind of uh, characters we want to use. We've chosen the length of the password and the amount of passwords that we want to generate. So what we're now going to do is we're just going to go ahead and say for x in range length or actually amount first uh, for x in range amount. We're just going to say password equals and we're going to join them on an empty string here. So we're going to use join if you don't know what the join function does, check out the Python tips and tricks tutorial about the join function. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to say random, sorry, random dot sample, which means it's just going to take anything out of the full string that we have, random dot sample all length, which means that we're using the all string, the complete string with all the things, all the characters that we're using. And uh, we define the length of this string to be 20. Uh, so we're going to take 20 samples out of that string. <clears throat> After that, we can go ahead and print a password. 
and actually we're done. So that's actually everything we need to do in order to create a password generator. Looking down here, we see that we have generated uh, only five passwords. Why is that? Am I maybe running an old script here? I think I'm, I am. There you go. Um, this is actually the script that, I, uh, that we have written uh, right now. So you can see we have 10 passwords here generated with all kinds of symbols, numbers and letters. We can also go ahead and say, okay, I'm not interested in symbols. I don't want to use symbols here. So we can rerun that and you can see that we don't have any symbols in the password. We can set this to true again and say, I don't want any letters in the password. So we're going to say false and false here. And there you go. We'll only get numbers and symbols. Uh, we can also, of course, go ahead and increase the length to 40 and create like 20 passwords here. Not a problem. And you can see uh, what do we have here? Sample. Oh, yeah, we cannot do uh, length 40, of course, because we don't have enough uh, characters if we don't set all these to true because sample means that we cannot reuse characters. So let's get this back to 40, but use everything. And you can see that we have longer passwords here as well. Now you can also go ahead and repeat, uh, repeat those things by just doubling the string or something like that. Um, and one last thing that we can do here is we can also use a seat, which is not very reasonable, but if you want to do this, uh, you can use a seat. A seat has the effect that you will always get the same password. So in this case, whenever I rerun the script, I get different passwords here, as you can see, they're not the same. However, if I say uh, my seat or actually just seed equals, for example, neural nine, I can go ahead and say random dot seed seed and we'll always get the same result. So I get U O M O. If I rerun this, I get again U O M O and all the other passwords are the same as well. So uh, I don't know why you want to use that if you want to use that, but I would not recommend it. Just wanted to show you that this works. Uh, but that is how you build a password generator in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more future videos for free. And if you don't want to miss a single video, click the notification bell, activate it. Uh, it should be somewhere right beside the subscribe button. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out any videos, go ahead and click that. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.